drawing a pie chart we can select one question from our textbook page number 80 example 2 <coughs> on a particular day the sales of different items of a baker's shop are given below ordinary bread for 320 rupees biscuits 120 rupees cakes and pastries 160 rupees fruit bread 80 rupees others 40 rupees total 720 rupees sale is there on that day by using this data we can draw a pie chart for drawing a pie chart first we have to make a table for the central angle of each item for finding central angle we know for ordinary bread observation sales it is for 320 rupees so we have to write that 320 divided by 720 into the total angle at the center of a circle is 360 degree then we multiply it by 360 we can find the sector angle for that 320 divided by 720 into 360 degree 0 and 0 can be cancelled 36 divided by 36 1 30, 72 divided by 36 2 then 320 divided by 2 that is equal to 160 degree Similarly, we have to find the central angle for each item. Next is biscuit 120 divided by 720 into 360 degree. Then we can do that calculation here. 120 divided by 720 into 360 degree. That is equal to 360 and 720 we can cancel and write 360 one time and 720 divided by 362 and 120 divided by 2 is equal to 60 degree angle. That is 60 degree angle representing biscuits. Similarly, we have to find the central angle of the sectors which represents cakes and pastries fruit bread and others For drawing a pie chart, we need that a ruler, pencil, compass, fixed uh, pencil on the compass and one protractor, then eraser. Okay. For drawing a pie chart, first we have to draw a medium circle, that any one radius, just to draw a radius from the center. Okay. Next step, take your protractor and this is the midpoint of the protractor. Keep this midpoint on the center of the circle like this way. And for that first item, this baseline, look at that baseline. Baseline of this protractor is moving through this uh, left side. And first item is ordinary bread. First item is ordinary bread, one to representing 160 degree. It is a 160 degree sector. So we have to take 160 degree. And see here the baseline is towards left. So from this zero we have to start. Zero up to 
here is the 160 degree angle so put a point here on this 160 degree angle and after that remove your protractor from here then join the center of the circle and this point or draw a line through the center of the circle and through this point which we marked here now this is exactly our 160 degree and it is representing that ordinary bread and we can write that 160 degree angle here and it represents ordinary bread then for that second one it is biscuits here and 60 degree sector representing biscuits so we have to measure 60 degree angle so for that we can turn our page paper like this way that will be easy for you and keep that protractor like that first what i told you that same way we are keeping that midpoint on the center of the circle and this baseline on the radius okay and here also it is on the left of this protractor so we have to measure from here baseline is on this radius and this is the left side so we have to measure this 0 up to our 60 degree this is the 60 degree measurement put a point there and we can remove the protractor from there mm. then we have to take a ruler and join the point and the center of the circle and it do not exceed out the circle up to here only we have to draw Okay, next is ordinary bread and biscuits we have represented successfully next cakes and pastries it representing 80 degree uh, sector only so we have to draw that 80 degree for that take your protractor and if it is needed we can turn our paper and just to keep our protractor the midline or midpoint on the center of the circle and here is one radius this is the baseline and here is the radius so we have to measure this zero and it is representing 80 degree so from here this zero we have to consider not this zero because this is the baseline and this is our radius so from here 0 10 20 30 up to 80 we need 60 here it is 80 so uh, listen 0 to 80 here we have to take mm, draw a point here and remove the protractor from there then we have to join this point and central or draw a line through the center of the circle and the point which we marked there now it is 80 degree angle and it represents cakes and pastries. Then next is fruit bread. We have to represent 40 degree angle. For that. Then fruit bread representing 40 degree angle. We have to measure 40 degree angle here so that you can turn your notebook if it is needed and keep the protractor like this way and see the radius which side and baseline of the protractor and consider this zero and measure that angle 40 degree zero. up to 40 
here is the point we have to mark that point there and draw a line through the point and the center of the circle and now we have got that 40 degree angle and it is representing fruit bread then that balance is 20 degree only it is representing others At a glance itself, it is clear from our pie chart or circle graph, ordinary bread is representing 160 degree sector and 80 degree cakes and pastries, 60 degree biscuits, 40 degree fruit bread and 20 degree for others. So our pie chart is completed successfully. If you have any doubt, you can put a comment under this one and definitely I will answer for your doubt.